Okay, welcome everyone. We are live here. Uh, my name is Eben Schumacher, and uh, welcome to my weekly live stream painting demo. Um, so today is actually the 20th uh, time I'll be doing this. So I thought for a little uh, celebration of that, I'd kind of let the people that show up today uh, pick the... Um, the subject here. So I'm just gonna give us a few minutes for people to roll in. We have a few requests already in the chat and there's also um, one on the Facebook group. I've actually made, I found this thing online, a little uh, random uh, <laughs> idea picker here. So uh, if you're tuning in right now, uh, just go ahead and uh, leave a request here in the comments and uh, we'll uh, we'll see who <laughs> who gets to see their uh, idea painted here today so uh, so far we have Sam dropped something in the comments here uh, he's having dinner right now but he's gonna be joining us in a second here he wanted a what did it say a Viking inspired mountain temple in a snowy mountain landscape. That would actually be pretty cool because um, I uh, haven't uh, I haven't really done a snow scene in a while and uh, those can be kind of fun. Uh, then we also have uh, Killjard uh, looking for a necromancer slash warlock summoning some ancient being in an old forgotten ruined temple buried deep beneath a corrupted mountain what a fantastic uh, description there and I appreciate your input here so I've uh, thrown your idea on the list here uh, welcome Jose nice to see you here uh, I'm gonna be taking these first few minutes just to be taking ideas and then I'll be uh, picking one randomly with this wheel <laughs> of ideas turning this into a game show um, also, if you're uh, just joining us or if you're new here for the first time, uh, please go ahead and uh, hit subscribe and uh, f uh, <laughs> join the channel and um, so you can catch future live streams like this and uh, other videos I put out uh, sometimes as much as once or twice a week, art tutorials, walkthroughs, time lapses, all kinds of fun stuff uh, that I do here on the channel. Uh, so uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, sweet Issues Art. Welcome, I haven't seen you here before. Uh, feel free to drop an idea uh, and we'll put it on our wheel, uh, our wheel of fate, uh, as Kiljard is calling it here. I think that's pretty apt. And uh, we're going to decide what we're going to paint today. So, let's see, I've got my hydration here. Got Photoshop up here, pretty much ready to rock. Thank you. I'm glad uh, you think it's a good idea, and uh, yeah, I'm um, I'm actually kind of amazed. I've I've uh, been this consistent about it. I started this, um, I started doing this earlier in the summer, I think around July, and so um, it's uh, it's been kind of a wild ride. Um, and but I've managed to uh, to do this consistently pretty much every Sunday since then um, and it's been a lot of fun I've really been loving the input from people that are are joining here regularly and um, it's just kind of fun to uh, to sit down and, and chat with people about what I'm creating and um, for other artists that join as well um, or people who are just interested in my work uh, to answer their questions and um, just talk a little bit about my process here so um, all right this is the uh, last uh, opportunity to <laughs> get your idea on the wheel uh, maybe I should do this every time this wheel is kind of fun I, I just tested this a minute ago um, you just click on it there's a little thing and there's a little celebration at the end uh, it's fun but um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I get, uh, you know, five or six different people requesting different things. And by the way, if you have any um, 
ideas about what you would like to see in this uh, stream or uh, next week or in any videos moving forward, any uh, requests for specific time lapses or tutorials or anything like that, uh, feel free to drop a comment, let me know, uh, and uh, I would be happy to, uh, to do that. All right, so what do we got here? Sweet Issues is requesting a lava monster erupting down a mountain to take over a town. And Jose is looking for the sea dragon. I feel like you you may have requested that a while ago, um, so let's go ahead and put C Dragon and Sweet Issues. Uh, what was it? Lava Monster. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I don't even know which one I would pick if I wasn't doing this randomly. Um, they're all really good ideas and definitely like not necessarily things I would uh, think up on my own so that's uh, that's another great thing about doing this is like I get ideas kind of get pushed outside of my comfort zone a little bit um, what was it I think it may have been um, what did I do last week I did uh, oh God, I can't remember there's <laughs> been so many here but it's really nice to, to get requests for things like this and uh, for for things that I might not otherwise think of. Cause sometimes, you know, you get used to making the same thing and, well, not the same thing, but, you know, you get kind of locked into your uh, your artistic niche, I suppose. So this is awesome. All right. Um, just going to give it, uh, well, you know, I think we got some good ideas here. Let's, <laughs> let's, moment of truth here. Drum roll, please. Let's spin this wheel. Oh, interesting. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Uh, looks like we're making a lava monster. That sounds challenging. So, <laughs> but definitely not impossible. So as soon as uh, Photoshop so stops uh, spazzing out here, can get going. I'm not sure what that is actually. I've never seen that in my life. Oh yes, the crowded marketplace. Yes, I know. That would that would be a struggle. I've actually watched some videos on on uh, doing that fairly effectively. Um, it does look like phew, I might need to restart Photoshop here. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh but uh, yeah, the cr I, I kind I think I kind of attempted that with that one I did a while back. Um, the actually, you know, I w there's so many of these that, that like I kind of got to a finished state, but never like totally um, pushed pushed them to like maybe what I would have for a uh, more refined piece. And that was one of them. It was. Uh, I don't know if you remember, it was like this path through the center of a town, and then there was like a, a gate at the end. There we go. Our zoom is, is working. Um, and there was like a woman leaning out and like looking uh, at what was going on, and there were these red hooded figures going in there. I kind of made a crowd for that one, but I didn't, didn't develop it too much. Um, but um, anyway, let's, let's jump right in here. All right, so... Uh, we're doing lava monster erupting down a mountain to take over a town. Okay. Uh, feel free to drop any other details or requests uh, in terms of how you want this thing done. But otherwise, I'm just gonna just gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna frame this. Um, here we go. Let's bring out our. Let's just do a little sketch first. Uh, let's go down to my brush pack here, uh, which, by the way, is available in my website, which is um, in the description below. I can actually post a direct link to the brush pack in here uh, later on, but uh, it's a lot of fun. I've actually had quite a few people uh, hopping on board with this one and uh, have, a co have even had um, a couple people leaving some great reviews on the, uh, the product page on the website there. So if you haven't checked it out already... Uh, and uh, you're an artist looking to um, 
uh, bring more of kind of a uh, more of a traditional feel, simplified, straightforward strategy to your um, digital artwork. Or if you're new to digital painting, this is a, a great pack for you. So, all right, let's think about our composition here. Um, just try to visualize it for a minute. What kind of perspective do we want? Um, do we want to be looking up at it from the town? Do we want to be looking down? I would say probably looking up uh, from the town below. Um, it's probably the most dramatic and imposing um, viewpoint we can have here. So it'll be kind of a bottom-up perspective. So maybe we'll have our monster kind of over here. think about this, uh, this perspective, so I'm just drawing in some sort of loose um, indications of our uh, background, of our perspective lines. Probably his head will be smaller. I've actually made some really nice adjustments to this, uh, this pencil brush. Pencil brush, that's kind of a weird thing to say, but... Um, recently that I think make it a lot more a lot smoother. I'll actually be releasing a uh, update to that brush pack pretty soon and be throwing in a couple new ones as well. So, um lava monster. We have some clouds rolling down here. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see this. I'm going to get some big scale going on here. Maybe uh maybe we'll have some sunlight sort of filtering in like through the the cloud layer and um, our mountain our mountain over here perhaps maybe we won't we won't see the whole thing but and then uh, oh man you know drawing towns is actually something I probably need to work on I'm trying to think of how I can frame this um, maybe we'll have we'll probably have someone in the foreground or something in the foreground here at least to give this whole thing a bit of perspective and let's call this our main road through the uh, the village and maybe we'll have the road sort of continue up here have some houses around here so we have a nice um, some nice layering of the uh, the landscape rock arm oh yeah that would be cool yep um, glowing and angry absolutely uh, do we I usually work at 3,000 by 3,000 um, whoops uh, it depends on the project like if I know this is for a client and uh, or a print I'll probably start with something bigger um, actually I might res this up as I move forward uh, and get more detailed because that's a little it's not ideal there um, but it's nice for the sketching phase or if you're just doing a quick speed paint or something um, and that just helps to sometimes helps to smooth out the uh, the processing speed and that kind of thing hey Viera oh welcome um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if you actually have to create an account to watch this, but maybe, um, but I, I don't know, maybe I'll look into that, but I'm glad you did, and welcome. And, um, let's see, uh, small town below a volcano at the top, and <laughs> commanding meteors to burn, oh my god, this is getting so <laughs> outrageous. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, in any case, we got most of those things here. Commanding meteor. We could we could have some meteors, uh, perhaps. Let's see how how crazy we want this to go. Um, I actually d I made a brush specifically for creating uh, vague impressions of buildings from far away. So we'll see actually if that. Um, pays off here. Let's 
So let's just say our town will kind of occupy this general space. Um, this could be a path into the town or maybe a river even. Uh, maybe we can have sort of a, a citadel or, or something down here or a church just as maybe sort of a, a counter sub focal point here. And all this will be, maybe we can have some farmland back here. Maybe a little bit, little edge of a forest. Nice peaceful village. We'll try to play up that contrast too. Maybe have some greens and some uh, more, uh, maybe we'll, we'll kind of, we could do something like a, a, uh, a complementary color scheme between green and red, which is something I have not really explored that much, truthfully. Um, the <laughs> yes. Yeah, Jose, you're probably uh, probably totally to blame there um, for the multiple part streams. Well, no, I mean that's kind. I don't know. It's it's almost random. Like some some days, I'm just way more efficient. Uh, about um, sort of I don't know putting everything down and uh, getting everything on there quickly and, and efficiently and I think the longer streams are just usually where I get sort of lost and, and fiddling around with, with some small detail that's not that important which is something I am always working on uh, as an artist so maybe he can be sort of poised to cast some kind of rock spell or lava spell here. Oops. crank up this atmospheric music here. Just sort of going to block out his, uh, his body shape here. I think we got a nice pose going on. There's some nice dynamic uh, movement. Give him some creepy eyes. Sometimes it helps to make uh, sound effects. Uh, <coughs> that's my uh, dishwasher going in the background, by the way. Hoping that will uh, stop soon, but if it doesn't, so be it. The dishes must be washed. Could mix. Oh, we could include a sea dragon here, huh? Oh man. <laughs> Maybe like over here. The Battle of the Titans. About to ruin this small town. This is like the most complex. Uh, <laughs> complex scene I've ever made here. I think it could work. That that might definitely be a multi-part uh, stream, but uh, you know, it's kind of a good idea. Water and fire, that whole thing. A genie, yes, he's a uh, gonna be a lava genie. That's a real thing, now. just be kind of rising out of the, uh, the smoke and the, the flames down here. Um, sure, let's, you know what? Let's just, let's keep this dragon in here. We can worry about where the town lies later on, I suppose.
we're gonna try to make these look as big as possible just give you some scale this is like a this is a building so this is gonna be a, a lose lose scenario for the uh, the town no matter what I think but uh, I don't know maybe the the water dragon is trying to protect them or maybe they've just chosen this spot uh, to fight never know exactly where to put these wings so they're not getting in the way hmm let's flip this see if we have any ideas here Suppose we could have them coming off of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got a whole uh, whole development team here <laughs> working on this piece. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like that. We will. Think of a new way we can. You know, maybe maybe it's a water dragon. Maybe it doesn't have wings. Maybe that's what I'm gonna say. Because um, because I can. <laughs> it can have some kind of cool flippers or something down here. And we want it to be like rearing ready to go here so we can do like kind of a kind of like a me more menacing defensive pose like if a, a snake is about to be a attacked here have that neck sort of craning up maybe uh, have it be mad and everything if you guys keep throwing out ideas I'm never gonna get this thing done <laughs> no I appreciate it I love all the input this is fun I'm gonna have to move past the uh, sketch here at some point though Maybe it can be coming out of um, like a lake or something. There's a lake that goes kind of like this. It's just sort of emerging out of the water, just throwing up foam and clouds and everything. Kind of like a maybe it'll be like a mermaid, mermaid dragon where it's like that it doesn't have uh, legs; it just has a big old flipper or something. So move that up. Some awesome muscles. And we 
got to think about think about the body structure. It has to be pretty aero or uh, yeah aerodynamic, so it can uh, navigate the water effectively. So it'll be pretty pretty smooth, maybe with some flippers, things coming out the side. there awesome looks kind of small doesn't it it's the underdog I suppose but we can make it bigger <laughs> I guess that would make sense because it's closer. Um, to be honest, this village—I <laughs> don't, don't know if this village is gonna make it in the scene anymore. But we'll we'll make it happen. We'll have some stuff over here, up here, uh, perhaps. We'll see. I'm liking this though. This is gonna be pretty epic. Um, what does a um, does, does a water dragon like shoot anything out of its mouth? Does it have like blue fire, or does it shoot water, or is, does it just scream? Maybe it has like a sonic attack. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. These are, these are things I need to find out. This is going to be an action-packed scene here. His back legs kind of frog-like, I suppose. <sighs> nice. Some clouds. Foamy stuff happening over here. Battle of the Titans. Love it. Oh, there's this artist uh, on ArtStation. I'm going to have to look up his name. He does, like, these really awesome, like, dragon creatures with, like, this super realistic, beautiful, like, wet uh, skin. And I just, uh, I'm thinking about this piece I saw of his. Um, and uh, might have to try to bring some of those, some of those skills into play here. I'll have to look up that artist and uh, put their their name in the description because really worth checking out. Some fin things happening up here. All right, that's probably uh, enough information for a sketch. I think I have a pretty good idea. Maybe we can have some some buildings or something over here, sort of blocking out the. Hmm, or maybe not. Maybe we'll just keep it as a lake. I don't know. We can uh, we can figure those things out later, I suppose. So let's set up that um, that color gradient I was talking about earlier. It's between like a red orange. Hey, Shalandra, welcome. Grilled fish. All right. Um, what was I doing here? Yep, I'm going to... Let's make this... Yeah, we can keep it like that. Let's see what this does. Whoops. Um, I want to do that under my sketch layer. Other way. That's pretty cool. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm thinking maybe there's going to be some some sunlight hitting around this area, uh, but over here it's going to be all cloudy and uh, and uh, dark. 
So let's just start uh, working on that. Gonna have a little bit of sunlight peeking through. Just a little bit. Sort of coming out over here. And some dark, stormy cloud things happening. Let's block in this guy. This is going to be awesome. Okay. We'll have some of that foggy stuff happening. Clouds, smoke. And I'll switch to my uh, mixer brush and get some nice smooth effects here. Okay, and then here's the uh, volcano back here. Maybe we can use a something like this. Epic, man. Can darken that up at the top a little bit. I don't know why whenever I use the mixer brush at the edge of the canvas it finds all this pink random like pink colors there. I don't know why. Hey there Sam. Got another Sam here. Welcome. Uh you've missed uh you missed some fun stuff happening here. We had a lot of, a lot of uh, idea generation happening, um, and we did a random selection uh, of ideas that were offered at the beginning, and then it was uh, sweet issues that requested a lava monster attacking a town, and then. Uh, Jose also had this idea of a uh, sea dragon, which I think he's requested before, so I thought I'd um, incorporate that one as well. Actually, that was his idea to to bring that one into this uh, scene here. So um, that's pretty much where we're at. The town is uh, maybe having a diminished role at this point, but um, that's the, we're just having some fun with this lava here. Maybe we can have some multiple paths as traveling down here. to be a bit more a bit more red nice okay and then all right let's let's bring in some 
some uh, nice, some comforting green things happening over here. So I'm going to be kind of ambiently lit. There's going to be some sunlight. Good things happening over here. Dragon there. There's more of a silhouette, perhaps. Just gonna be a little bit of sunlight passing through. Actually, gonna cut, gonna tone down this sketch a little bit as we move forward. So I can see what I'm doing with my my colors and my values here. Whoops! Am I painting on the sketch layer? Yes, I am. I guess it doesn't matter so much at this point, but. Turn down the heat in here. Oh my. Oh my juice. Yeah, the uh, trying to play up the kind of mood dynamics between these two sides here, so that that warm blue is uh, you know helping us uh, contrast with the uh, dull red and orange is over there. the sea dragon oh that would be cool I could draw some uh, some hints from that it has all those like yeah all those little floaty uh, appendage things coming out that would be sweet I'll keep that in mind as we move forward here um, all right I'll have a little bit of reflected light down here perhaps if there's direct Sun hitting this area The sunlight's gonna stop over here, and we'll just let that sort of drift into uh, into nothing. Let's see what this looks like without our sketch layer. Awesome. I think that's enough to to move forward with. Uh, so let's just start painting over this. We'll add some light effects around that later on. Oh, 
that noise is. I think someone's mowing the lawn or something, or I don't know. Get some like very trace highlights happening. Yeah. that very subtle got some nice uh, fish conversation going on here <laughs> I'm a big fan of uh, fish myself actually I haven't quite gotten into it I'm more of a reptile guy at this point but let's pick out some some nice glowing eyes here make this arm a little bit smaller since it's oops just forgot I'm not working on a different layer there let's uh, copy and paste that At some point, I'll probably separate this out onto a different layer so we can work on the background, but um, for now, I'm just sort of, I'm just sort of sketching things out. <laughs> I'm glad the reptile thing is clear. In fact, I, I, I think I, sh I think I brought uh, Boga on one of the streams here. Boga is my my bearded dragon. She's cool. Pretty, pretty tame recently. some lava just spilling out. I don't know. Okay. That's probably a good amount of detail for him. Hand 
can just kind of be lost. Lost in a fray. That's kind of neat. Some little light effects there. Oh, hey, uh, Sam, welcome back. Uh, the topic is, see, I put yours in that we, I did a little a wheel of, wheel of fate thing. I put your, your idea in there. Uh, we ended up picking, um, uh, newcomer, um, sweet, sweet issues. She requested a lava monster. Uh, they requested I'm not sure um, a lava monster and then um, uh, Jose had this idea for a, um, a sea dragon that we were able to work in there somehow and there's gonna be a town here that was part of sweet issues request here so there's a lot going on <laughs> uh, it's gonna be quite quite the epic piece in summary this is sweet water dragon coming out of the lake there See what's going on with this sea creature. Probably you do this on another layer, just so we can actually let's uh, let's do this. Not the. Uh, efficient way to do this but it works and cut paste now you can copy and paste I suppose Just go into that background, solidify that separation. this a bit. Maybe start you know, 
draw a little bit on the uh, the seahorse thing. Too. That'd be nice. All the uh, sunlight hitting the green valley below him. Oh, we could, uh, we could give this dude some horns, make him more, uh, Balrog looking. Could be interesting. <laughs> and we'll see how that plays out later. Um, by the way, if you're, uh, if you haven't already, if you're just joining us for the first time, feel free to, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, really, uh, appreciate the, uh, the support and you will get access to all of the uh, all the fun perks get to see all these new videos I put out every week tutorials time lapses and of course you'll get notified about the uh, live streams on Sundays as well thank you to those of you who are already subscribed to the channel it's a huge help to me and uh, building my uh, my growing uh, audience on here. It's really nice to see uh, those of you who are showing up here pretty consistently. up a little bit. Nice. I like that lighting. brush a little bit here so we can smooth some of this out get some of that nice reflected light in from underneath
should position this leg here. Now we do sort of a lizard strut here. You know the lizard strut. They kind of push themselves up off the ground. Hey there, Jurgen. Uh, yeah, this one's uh, coming out to be pretty cool. We had a lot of, a lot of different ideas coming up here, and uh, trying to uh, to find a nice synthesis between all of them, which has turned out to be a really, really awesome, uh, awesome piece. A lot of this I just would not have. Um, thought up on my own so yeah feel free to, to throw any uh, suggestions in here uh, apparently this only gets better with the more ideas you, you throw at it that's that's kind of what I'm uh, seeing here Some foamy stuff happening down here. Kind of getting to the point where I'm uh, transitioning between layers. You know, I think that's a good amount of information for that for right now. Guess you should have some, some other spiky things on his back, perhaps. We should define this arm a bit better, or maybe we don't need to. Looks pretty good to me. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe we need to be more uh, definitive there. We can have it uh, sort of appearing. Uh, I don't know where to put it exactly. Maybe it was fine the way it was before. It's kind of out here somewhere. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I think the uh, the anatomy is working out pretty well. arm of 
bit shorter. This is where I get lost in all of the, the micro adjustments. super weird, but I'll come back to it. Some reflected light from the illuminated side of his body here. this probably want to have some some misty foggies going on Get our little hill up here from where we can look out into the scene of destruction below. Let's just be sort of a placeholder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely taken a little bit to to get to this point, uh, but you know, just just takes time. I mean, that's really it. And, uh, you know, also definitely I th for a long time, my practice was really unstructured. 
uh, and sporadic. In fact, I just really didn't even uh, practice that much, to be honest. Uh, and I just, I don't know, I kind of had this bad mentality coming out of uh, high school and college that I was like, I don't know, I already had some skill, but like relative to a really small circle of people. So I was kind of like, yeah, hey, you know, I'm just going to be good enough and people are going to want my, <laughs> my art. Uh, and, uh, turns out life does not work like that. And, um, it took me a long time to kind of unwork that mentality and actually get into the, uh, habit of, uh, daily practice, daily improvements, uh, even in small ways, even just a half hour every day, which is like my minimum right now. It doesn't seem like that much, uh, but it's uh pretty much what i can what i can manage in addition to uh doing um other projects client work and working on my business and all that making youtube videos that kind of stuff so um that's super key for me anyway if you're if you're looking to to develop your practice and improve your skills uh that's it's going to be one of your best bets. Let's find a, uh, a reasonable amount of time that you can commit to this every day and stick to that. And honestly, if I'd started doing that sooner, I, uh, I would probably be a lot further right now than I am, but I didn't, and I am where I am. I'm pretty content with it. The great thing is that um, uh, you can enjoy the artistic process regardless of what your skill is. And... Um, and in fact, in in that joy of the process, there lies the uh, the key to uh, to developing as an artist. There's a really, if you don't enjoy doing this, it seems like a given. But like, I don't know. We are we are human beings with egos, and sometimes that gets in the way. So. Uh, really, I mean, look at look at your practice and ask yourself if you're enjoying it. And if not, what what can you do to uh, make it more fun? Check out the uh, auto drawing video I put up uh, last week on my channel here. I talk about I talk about how you can. You know, at least one of the strategies you can use to uh, make your practice more enjoyable, make it more like kind of what uh, art used to be, I think, for a lot of us. I feel like everyone was drawing at some point, and we all kind of stopped for various reasons, or most of us have. But it's just fundamentally enjoyable to create like this, so... sure you don't uh, lose touch with that, I suppose. That's my PSA for the day. Yeah, uh, I'd be happy to, to talk a little bit about my my practice. There's it's not not that complicated. Um, like I said, I I commit thirty minutes a day to um, to uh, isolated uh, practice.
practice outside of uh, commission projects or anything like that, anything that I'm doing for for business. Um, and that uh, can vary from day to day, but I do have a, a, a weekly schedule, so I'll do like um, tackle different things on different days, you know, different different specific skills. Like, you know, Friday is like anatomy and uh, faces, uh, you know, uh, I think Monday is figure drawing. Uh, Tuesday is uh, thumbnailing and idea generation, that kind of stuff. Um, Wednesday is, what is Wednesday? Landscapes, I think. Uh, I, have it, I have this all written down somewhere. Um, let's see, uh, Friday, I already mentioned Friday. Saturday is um, uh, course uh, skill development, so learning from, from someone else. A, uh, I have so many courses that I've downloaded and resources uh, on YouTube that I've bookmarked that I just, um, you know, haven't gotten around to. There's so much useful information out there uh, on this kind of stuff. And um, so I said, uh, I usually use Saturdays to, to dive into that. And that usually ends up being more than half hour. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it's. Uh, it's I really think that the the time. I mean, the, the time is important, but I think more important is the uh, the consistency. Of the. Uh, of the practice. And like targeting those skills, figuring out like what. Your weak points are. Uh, as an artist. And <laughs> like a owning up to that, uh, which can be difficult sometimes, um, and then b working on it, or maybe it means like finding things that you don't need to devote your time on. Like if you're not, depending upon what you want to do, you know, if you don't want to make a lot of, if you just want to focus on landscapes, uh, then you know maybe you don't need to have a weekly uh, figure drawing practice. I do because I find myself drawing stuff like this, this golem over here, and uh, that's, you know, that's all figure drawing there, basically, combined with some, you know, material, s material work. That could be another one. Maybe I could incorporate into is like doing different, uh, different materials, that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, there are only seven days in a week, so uh, there's only so much you can do there, but I've not seen Adam Duff's videos. I'll um I'll look it up. Let's go back to this golem dude. Since these two are the uh, the focus of the of the piece, I want to make sure they're uh, well developed enough. It's starting to look like that town uh, may not make it into the final cut, uh, but. Definitely gonna have some epic stuff going on between these two. Now while we have him on a separate layer, let's go in back here. Let's make some cool things happen. Maybe so we can get some more contrast behind him. Just 
sort of keeping one eye on the navigator here too to make sure I'm not totally screwing up my my values or my composition here. But is some kind of swooshing uh, water water effect here. I don't know why, but that's maybe that's just part of the uh, dragon's powers is like conjuring up some kind of cyclone like uh, someone mentioned earlier. And of course, I'm just doing that because it's a so it helps to keep the composition in here. You can do the same thing on the other side. I'm deliberately uh, phasing out a lot of these edges. Uh, and that serves two purposes because um, because I get to uh, create some awesome steam and cloud effects, but also because it's helping to uh, center focus on the important things here. Uh, yeah, that volcano is totally getting lost. It's a good point. So we'll make sure we keep in some key edges. Just enough to, to demonstrate that's still there. Harden those up, make it clear. Let's actually make those a bit warmer. Uh, maybe not that warm. Actually, maybe it's fine the way it is. Yeah, just harden up some of those edges. Create a nice contrast between that and the, uh, the clouds that are being formed here. We want our, our the edges of our light to be nice and saturated.
start going behind this guy as well. Because uh, he's on a new layer now. I'll probably go in with some uh, linear dodge brush at uh, some point and really, really push out that uh, that highlight. Get a nice bloom effect going. I remember Jurgen actually was asking uh, recently about a uh, doing a cloud tutorial, so maybe I'll make another video about that. But um, I can talk a little bit about it here as well. I am actually going to uh, have to take a quick break here. Uh, but, man, I mean, if not a two-part stream, I'm definitely feeling another another hour, maybe another hour and a half into this one. So uh, stay, uh, stay put. I'll be right back.
Okay. We are back here. It's actually a beautiful day here in Vermont. So, opened up the window. Got some nice uh, airflow in here. So, all right, clouds. Let's talk about clouds. Yes, I did. Get, I did get a haircut as well. It's about time. I think. Um, okay, clouds. What was I here? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the mixer brush is pretty indispensable for what I'm doing here, and uh, this one in particular, this is the, uh, the big, thick, wet that I've made here, uh, and that's a really great one for making clouds here. Basically, I'm thinking about where my light source is. So clouds are both a three-dimensional object and a transparent object, so they are, um, they're being, uh, like in this case they're being hit with some direct light but they will also have some of that light carry through them and when it carries through it uh it can sort of glow from within so it's sort of a complex relationship and it can be a combination of both uh but i'm mostly just doing these little swirly motions here with this mixer brush and then thinking about wherever the light is passing through a cloud, maybe one that's a bit thinner, it's gonna be sort of a lighter color, like what I'm putting down here. And then wherever the light is hitting a cloud directly, it's gonna be a bit, uh, a bit more of uh, a highlight. And, uh, it's going to be, and that highlight is going to be on the side where the light is and we can think about some bigger areas where the light might be passing through here and then areas within that where maybe the cloud is thicker and the light can't pass through quite as well And then, of course, the closer these clouds get to the light source, uh, they're, the more they're going to pick up the color and intensity of that light. even use some of that white in clouds that are coming near to illuminate them. Let's uh, let's go into this golem dude. I guess that's kind of what he is. Let's mark out some. I don't want to create too much contrast here because he is a uh, distant object. I'm gonna start kind of refining these uh, shapes with my eraser. I want to keep the shapes pretty simple overall, especially considering he's a sort of a rocky fellow. Let's 
just want to clean all this up a little bit. Not sure what's what he's doing with his hand. Casting some kind of uh, spell, I think. We're just getting ready to hit something. We don't know. I forgot to kind of go behind him and cut out some of this. Some of this stuff here. Let's go back to this guy. Start shaping him out. Let's give him some. Let's give him some texture. Let's go to our thick dry here. Give him some nice textural things. some blue. I don't know where that came from. That's what I love about this brush. It's constantly generating new new colors new textures, new hue variations, so we can mess around with that quite a bit. And bring out our, uh, let's uh, use our um, thin brush wet. Mark 
out some of these details here. Kind of just going with whatever I see in the existing variations of the material while also thinking about how it roughly correlates with human anatomy. Hey Nick, welcome. Yeah, this is a, this is a cool one. This is like the result of many different many different ideas being joined into one. Kind of looks sad, doesn't he? <laughs> the misunderstood lava monster. He just wanted to play, but the world wouldn't let him. going to destroy it. be going back to adjust a lot of these values later on. But for now I'm just sort of sketching out some of these details. Just 
Is that this? Shadows by a little bit. And just a little color balance. Make sure that's blending in. Hmm. Maybe not. We'll get into that later. now let's bring out our mixer brush again where'd it go you can just kind of fade him fade him out canvas is actually I'm glad you brought that up because I was gonna uh, res it up a bit it's right now 3,000 by 2,000 which is probably pretty low for for what this is turning out to be so I'm gonna bump it up to 5,000 width whoops and of course every time I do that it um, messes with my zoom function so we'll see how that works out <laughs> I may need to restart Photoshop have, that's one of those really obscure um, glitches that I have not found a solution for online oh, there it is again Okay. Well, I should save this anyway. Live stream number 20. It's a cool painting. I can't remember who the artist is for that. It's not me though, in case you were wondering. Yeah, I usually um, size my canvases based on resolution. And of course when you, or based on pixels. So when you set it based on pixels, the, di the DPI doesn't, uh, doesn't change anything. Unless you uh, map a specific uh, size to it, like inches or um, uh, millimeters, anything like that. As far as I know, it might change something about the file size, or I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure it, it, it doesn't matter if you are just. So I'll start my canvas just by doing, you know, 3000 by 2000. That's a good, good uh, size for a, a sketch. Or something more involved like this, I'd you know bump it up to five. It all depends upon um, what you intend to use it for. If you think you're going to be uh, making prints out of it or anything like that, it's all uh, important to consider. some some highlights here where the uh, sun 
things hitting the surface. Oh yeah, and then of course I'm gonna want to give him some some glowies. Maybe the linear dodge brush would be best for this. Yeah, remember DPI is all relative to the, uh, if you're using DPI versus inches, it's going to be totally dependent upon how many inches you list. So, you know, five by seven inches at 300 DPI is not that, it's not a, a, a very high resolution, but, um, you know, 300 dpi at uh, 16 by 24 inches is kind of uh, more along the lines of something you'd want to have for a print.
cool. He turned out pretty sweet. Just gonna lock that in. We'll go into this soft round. Maybe uh, sort of dull that out a little bit. Shut her down some of that contrast. Well, I think that's all I've got in me for today. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a two-part one. I know I sounded super spry and everything a half hour ago, but... Well, at a certain point... You gotta, you gotta give it a break, let it breathe a little bit say two hours is probably a good cutoff point for that but uh anyway this is this was a fun one it is a fun one can't wait to uh, continue it next week um so uh yeah thanks everyone for showing up today and uh and uh drop in a comment let me know what you want to see and um for uh thank you to uh sam and uh, Jose and uh, Vieira and uh, all the others who made requests for today's stream. I kind of liked the uh, the format of that, so I'd be happy to uh, to do the uh, the, uh, the wheel of uh, fate um, uh, picker for for uh, the streams. Anyway, uh, thank you all for for joining me, and uh, please, if you haven't already, go ahead and. Uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video to uh, help out the uh, algorithm and um, yeah until next time I uh, hope you all stay safe and well out there and um, I'll uh, I'll catch you soon